It's not going to change any of the Democrats' minds. They're obstructionists. They're actually con artists because they know how quality this man is, and they've destroyed a man's reputation, and they want to destroy it even more. President Trump standing up for his Supreme Court nominee, Judge Kavanaugh, today. Uh, this as a third woman is now accusing Kavanaugh of sexual misconduct. Our News Edge anchor Tom Haynes is standing by with the latest tonight on the eve of what could be an historic day of testimony. Tom. Well, Russ and Sine, this latest accuser put forth by Michael Avenatti, the lawyer who represented adult film star Stormy Daniels. Tonight, Fox News is reporting an ex-boyfriend of the accuser, Julie Swetnick, claims he filed a restraining order against her in 2001 after he broke up with her. And a new Wall Street Journal report tonight that Ms. Swetnick was involved in a dispute with her former employer over a sexual harassment complaint. In that case, she was represented by the same attorney representing Kavanaugh accuser Christine Blasey Ford, who's expected to testify tomorrow. Today, the president weighed in on all of this from the United Nations. This is one of the highest quality people that I've ever met. And everybody that knows him says the same thing. In a sworn affidavit, Julie Swetnick says she was gang raped in 1982 after being drugged with what she believes were quaaludes. She names Brett Kavanaugh as one of the boys who would spike the punch at parties so girls would lose their ability to say no. Attorney Michael Avenatti released Swetnick's allegations, which also claimed Kavanaugh was verbally abusive and physically aggressive toward girls. President Trump tweeted in defense of his nominee, calling Avenatti a third-rate lawyer. Earlier this week, Judge Kavanaugh categorically denied sexual misconduct allegations. That's totally false and outrageous. Never done any such thing, known about any such thing. Kavanaugh even releasing his high school calendar, which he says is exculpatory evidence. It shows Kavanaugh was grounded in May of 1982, but it also puts him at Beach Week, which Swetnick specifically named. These allegations are absolutely breathtaking. Judiciary Committee Chairman Chuck Grassley says lawyers immediately reached out to contact the accuser, and Senator Flake said he hopes tomorrow's hearings will give them guidance on the confirmation vote. Up or down, yes or no, however this vote goes, I'm confident in saying that it will forever be steeped in doubt. The Wall Street Journal is also reporting tonight Ms. Swetnick has had recent run-ins with tax authorities. Just last year, the IRS filing a lien on her Washington, D.C. home. Mr. Avenatti said he extensively vetted his client's allegations. Russ. Well, Tom, as you know, many Republicans are pushing for a vote on Kavanaugh's confirmation despite those assault allegations. It's a move that Fox News political analyst Juan Williams says could spell trouble for the upcoming midterm elections. With public support for Kavanaugh waning, Williams says rushing toward confirmation could have an impact at the polls. I think this nominee is in peril. I think that the tide in terms of public opinion has long been going against him. He is not a popular nominee if you look at the poll numbers. And in specific with the midterm elections approaching, it becomes all the more treacherous for Republicans to ignore, to run through the red lights necessary to simply confirm him despite the concerns of the broader population. Uh, Williams is in town to promote his new book, What the Hell Do You Have to Lose? Trump's War on Civil Rights. In it, he critiques what he says is the Trump administration's, quote, unprecedented rollback of the civil rights movement. Sine?